say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same Lovelies, this is Sims Fell, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Finding Mermaid. When we left off in the previous episode, Shimmer was holding a little bit of a, I think, pit, 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 what am I saying? Pit barbecue feast. That's right. A pit barbecue feast over at the community area. I don't know what it's called exactly, but the people kind of gather around this place sometimes. And we're going to pick up right over there, see what else she gets up to. She actually got, not bonded. But what was the other thing I said? Promised to. There we go. She got promised to Ukupanipo in the previous episode, which is very excited and excited, exciting. And we found chickens. Chickens. I love chickens. They look cool. Okay. So before we do anything else, and honey, she, look, look at her. She just wants to go back. But no, no. You're supposed to be... Did we... Is the feast done? Are you serious? Do you guys see this? We had a feast going on in Left Off in the previous episode. While it was cooking, Shimmer just slipped into the bathroom. Everyone came and finished, just off, finished it off without it. Like, what is wrong with them? What is wrong with everyone? Okay, she's gonna come back in, cook a Grand Pit barbecue feast again. This time, we're gonna make some island vegetables. Because why not? I'm gonna do that, okay? And while she does that, um, let's put in a whim that we can fulfill in this episode. She wants to go ahead and get to know Kalamainu, and that is fine. It's good to be close with your pod members. Also, I know some of you lovelies want to make mermaids for this series. Feel free to go ahead and do whatever you want. Just keep an open mind that I might twist and turn the stories of your sims depending on how I feel they fit best into my world. So I hope you guys don't mind that if you do decide to submit anything. And also, please submit under the hashtag Simsville, just because whenever I search something up, that's what I always use, because I know it's specifically for the channel. But I did look um, before I started filming this episode, and there were no submissions up, so I'm just carrying on as usual. Look at her, she keeps wanting to go back into the ocean, I have no problem with that, except for the fact that you need to supervise your food, otherwise everyone's gonna eat it! How much time does this have left? It's got one hour, but by the time it's done, everyone's probably already going to have eaten that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. But look at her be beautiful in the ocean. And I know some of you have also been saying that you can see Ukapanipo being evil enough to maybe help her sell out other mermaids, and I completely agree. I see that in him too, which is why I think he makes the perfect mate for Shima, honestly. And I don't feel as though... The matriarchs and patriarchs of a pod have to get bonded to another mermaid that has the same title. Because I think mermaids, I feel like generally mermaids probably um, are pretty equal, they feel pretty equal. It's just that um, you need someone to make the calls, you need someone to be the decision maker at the end of the day and give direction to what the pod's doing and that's why the matriarch and patriarch exist. I mean obviously that title gives you a lot of respect in the oceans, but at the same time, if a matriarch or patriarch decides to mate with someone who is like who doesn't carry a title and is the leader of their own pod, then I don't think that is something that's looked down upon because just generally I feel like they would value the the bond of between mates a lot more than humans do. So um, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Then again, humans probably do value that, but. If you say like vampires or something else, I don't know. Any of the species, if you look at royal families, that sort of thing, or anything that has like a bunch of hierarchy. Look at nobility, for example. We're back to humans. Look at flippin' nobility, okay? I feel as though these mermaids, they probably value relationships a lot more. So they don't exactly look at class or any of those silly things. So let's go back and check to see if our thing is done and hasn't been just cleaned already. Um... Almost ready, so let's hang out over here before someone just steals it from us. Damn, you're pretty far. 
pretty far, but let's go ahead and um, eat up. Plus, she's getting hungry. And I think now that food's done, everyone's going to start getting attracted to that area. So let's go. Let's go on up. She's going to go and deal with that. But she is very happy. Also, while we're there, should probably go ahead and maybe play a trick on someone. Because it is prank day, apparently. And why not? Let's just take part in some island stuff. I don't mind doing that from time to time. I feel like it's going to add a little bit of flavor. And oh, look! Call my news. That where she works. Ah, nice. Well, I was going to just call the pod together, but since she's there anyways, why don't we just go and, um, I'm probably going to grab a meal, grab the meal, grab them before this child does. Do you guys see that? How is there one left? When did everyone come and take this? This is crazy. Okay, stop hanging out. Just grab the food. Come on, let's go. Grab it. That is so silly. We cooked a feast. Oh, okay, never mind. You grab that, and then that's the vegetable plate. Ah, I see. Okay, well, we're gonna pop this. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Can we, can we put an inventory, please? Thank you. And then we're gonna pop it out here, which hopefully we are able to do. Let's see. Uh, can we pop it out? No? We cannot, apparently. Huh. Okay, well, uh, that's fine. We're just gonna grab a serving. And we're just going to eat that all by ourselves. I'm sorry, honey, but uh, it seems as though we're not one for sharing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get to know Kalamainu while we're over here. Um, let's see. Get to know, get to know, my darling. There we go. Wonderful. Also, I was going on that little rant about, about matriarchs and patriarchs and pods and partners because I actually don't know if Okupanipo is a patriarch in his own pod, or if it's just like another merman in the pod. I'm not entirely sure, or if he's an outcast, or if he's even in a pod. I have absolutely no clue. Kalamine is a loner, so that kind of adds up with the story that she has of an outcast. And Kalama over here is another mermaid. Is another mermaid that we are friends with. Ah, but we don't have good intentions towards. Okay, Shima, um, oh look, she's pretty much done everything she needs for work, and she does have the next two days off, which is perfect time for a wedding. It's perfect. She's got the next two days off. It is the perfect time to become bonded, because we have our own little terminology when it comes to mermaids. I think we said, um, now I forgot. What do you say if, if they're like girlfriend, boyfriend? Are they paired? Yeah, I think we, we say they're paired up. Partnered up? Paired up? Yeah, I think we say paired up. And then when they're engaged, they're promised. And then when they're married, they're bonded. Mm, that's interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. But since all of that is done, and Shima is moving in quick succession with everything, I think after this, she's, look, she's got one day left until she's a young adult. Okay, he's one day left. I feel like she's aging up so quick, but at the same time, I feel like it's the right amount. Like, I feel like she's aging, like, aging, what am I saying? Aging up at the right pace, but it still feels like it's so quick. Darn it, we can't even grab this. Ah, oh, my goodness. Okay, well, she is gonna go tend to her needs, guys, and when she's feeling a little bit more livelier, I'm gonna be back with you guys, and we'll see what she gets up to, although I think you guys already know we might have a wedding in store. So see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, we are back and we have a little bit of a problem. As you can see, the kitchen is in disarray because we were trying to make something and then realized the CC counters I had didn't count as counters. So we had to sell them and they cost nothing. Um, and we managed to get one counter. So currently our kitchen is a mess. We still have to clean up this, this soot that's been left from the previous fire we had a while ago. But Shim is actually going ahead and making a cake for her wedding. And I'm quite excited to show you guys the wedding setup we have outside. So since Simma, since Simma, since Simma, since Shima doesn't have a lot of uh, simoleons, I went ahead and thought, hey, she'll probably throw just a wedding at home on her deck because she's got ample space. She just needs to re rearrange a few things. So she sold all the shells that she had in her inventory. We still have the shells in the shop, but we're going to have to pull all of those out. Um, and sell them off and probably before the wedding because she needs a thousand to actually throw a wedding party 
she's gonna have to go ahead maybe comb the beach for shells or something of the sort so that she can get some extra bits of money and then with that we'll be able to throw the wedding party and worrying about the kitchen counters is going to be after all of that but let me go ahead and show you guys what we have going on not a lot but a little bit so obviously she doesn't want people in the house so I've gone ahead, we've, we've worked something out. We have a little bit of a gate over here and we're gonna allow people to come in through the gate. So they're only gonna have access to the deck, not to the house. So that's gonna maintain Shimmer's privacy. And this guys is our little wedding setup. Isn't that adorable? I think that is super cute. It's tiny because it's all we can afford, but I think it's really cute. It's got uh, a lot of blue in it, white and blue, because that's kind of what Shimmer's theme is and bits of pink with the petals but I really like it I think this looks gorgeous I think it looks adorable I really wanted to use the island not island paradise the island living arch ah oh, so exciting so she can go ahead and do all of this how exciting we've got some plants in the background because if we take some wedding photos then at least it will look really pretty and I'm really happy with how that turned out I did want to uh, like initially put the wedding arch somewhere that's um, kind of against nature to make it look really nice and picturesque. But then I thought, you know what? I can do something with this. I can just put some flowers and flower arrangements and stuff, plant arrangements in the background. And it ended up looking really nice. So I'm kind of really happy with that. And at first I thought this tub would look really weird with the plants in it. But the more I thought about it, the more cool it seemed because whenever Shimmer goes into the tub and takes a bath, she is in her mermaid form and her tail comes out and everything and I thought that was really cool because it's kind of reminiscing of that. But as you can see, we don't have a whole lot of seats. One, because we didn't have space. Two, because we ran out of money. And we have just one table over here that we're going to put the cake on, which is what Shim is currently making. Cakes can last a long time though, so we don't have to worry about any like it going um, spoilt or anything while we're trying to get money. But we have that. She's making a coconut cake, which I think is pretty nice. So then we can lay the cake out there, probably put a wedding topper on it. As soon as that's done, she's in a great mood. We're going to head out, probably collect up everything we have in our store. And then we're going to sell all of that off. We even sold all the conch shells we had, guys. We sold all of that too. And the wedding cake, I mean, the coconut cake looks exactly like a white cake. And I'm assuming it's different on the inside. Maybe it's like chocolate on the inside. I have no clue. But we're going to pop it all the way out here and darn it. Oh yeah, we can't afford a wedding topper. Well, we're going to leave it out there for now. Maybe put it in the fridge. We'll come back and get it later on. But we need to actually clear the table, first of all, collect up everything in there, sell it. And then we need to find some more seashells. And then things will be much more exciting. So, okay, done. What about everything in the inventory? Uh, yep, okay, we've cleared everything, so let's go and sell whatever we have. All of that. The coconuts didn't cost too much. We need a thousand, guys. A thousand. We're thinking big. I guess fishing would also do the job, but we have this. I mean, we could try and maybe sell this. Ooh, yes. We can sell to the National Nature Channel. And that, doesn't that give us money? Uh-oh, how come that doesn't give us money? I swear that gave us money before. Hmm. Well, we'll sell all these parts. Literally, everything we can get our hands on is going to help us at this stage. Analyze. Apparently, we can analyze these samples. Okay. Shimmer, honey, you need to go searching for seashells. I see some over here. So let's go grab this. Come on. Let's go grab that. That's worth a nice, nice bit. So we're going to get her to head off, look for some seashells, comb the beaches. And once that is done, then we're going to have a wedding party, which is going to be quite nice. We can grill up some stuff and if need be, we can actually, like after we cut the cake, even pull these tables up here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe Ukapanipo can help us. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay. Let's grab some of this. Oh my goodness. Look at her. <laughs> She's going mental. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's grab the seashells. Let's grab this. Let's uh, comb for seashells. Oh no, I'm sorry. Prank day was awful for her because we didn't get to prank anyone. I'm sorry, we got carried away with other things. Oh geez, no, don't run away. Don't you dare run away on me. We're trying to look for things. 
We're preparing for your wedding here, Shima. This is a big thing. You're matriarch now. You can't just run around irresponsibly. You need to go ahead and become bonded. Now that's the only time the mermaids look down on you, really. If you don't have a um, pod of your own, say if you're an outcast, or if you are not bonded, especially for a matriarch or a patriarch. Mm. They don't stay unbonded for too long. Are you really finding no seashells? Like, really? Nothing. Nothing? Damn. That's so sad. How is she not finding anything? Well, guess what? We have, we have some stuff here. Look at these lovely conch shells. Let's blow them. Let's collect up these. Come on, you've got a whole heap of things to collect here. Did we find the itty bitty crab? Oh, we made friends with a crab. And we, we got, oh, we tried to get the crab. Wait, what's this? Um, what? Oh, she got pooped on. The seagull hit its target. I'm sorry. And then she touched something. Oh, this is funny. Let's grab that. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're getting a good harvest of shells over here. This is why we don't absolutely kill all our beaches every single morning and, you know, try and get every single shell we can. Because we let the shells rejuvenate themselves. Yep. Oh, this is good. This is going to fund the whole wedding, everyone. This is going to fund the whole flippin' wedding. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, no. Come on. Hey, come back. Come back here. She's really tense, but come back. I need to collect the shells. Collect up the shell. Damn, that's a lot. Just collecting shells from between her legs. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Is she just not getting them? I don't think she's getting them. Like, nothing's changing. Oh, no, she's grabbing something. Come on. Okay, it's taking a while. Maybe it's piled up quite a bit. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at the amount of shells we're collecting, everyone. Does this happen in everyone else's game, or is this a glitch in mine? They seem to collect a whole heap of shells, I've noticed. Which I'm happy. Or do, do the shells, like, um, collect over time? Is that why? Because I don't harvest every single day? That would make sense. Oh, look, butterflies. But she can finally return home. And while she's returning home, we're going to sell off all the shells that she has. Let's sell off all the shells that she has and see what we get. Obviously, if I don't have to, I don't want to sell the conch shells. I, I tend to like them quite a bit. We'll sell them last, if need be. We need a thousand. Oh, I don't think we're going to have to sell everything. Look at that. We have enough money. And look, some of the shells are rejuvenated too. We can actually throw a wedding party, everyone. How exciting. And Shima even has a few friends. She can invite her pod mate. She can invite uh, two of the mermaids she plans to sell off. She can, obviously, Ukapani Pool's coming in. And maybe some of the neighbors. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. Jeez. Let's get, actually, before anything else, clean the floor because that looks nasty. And I think we should be able to maybe put down a few more counters. I think before anything else, maybe we should fix the kitchen. So, oh my goodness, is something wrong with the, is something wrong with our stove? Why is that still on? Shima, did you leave the stove on? That's not cool. Come this way. I don't want you to get hurt or anything. Maybe because she was like right close up next to it. I don't know. Okay, let's move the sink. I am not selling it and buying another one because that's going to cost too much. Let's grab this counter. There we go. I have move objects on. I was going to say, why is this being so weird? Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. So we've got the sink in its right place. The kitchen looks much better. And all we need to do is grab the cake. Where is the cake? Where is the cake? We're going to grab the cake. And it's 6 a.m. It's a beautiful morning. Perfect time for a wedding. We're going to add the wedding topper. Look at that, guys. We can actually afford it. <sighs> ah, okay. She's going to go add the wedding topper. This is quite exciting. And I don't know what her formal wear is or if she's got a wedding outfit picked out. Let me just check. Outfits. 
What's your formal outfit like? I don't remember. Um, you know what? That's a, actually a pretty cute formal outfit. I think that's actually pretty cute, especially for like a island beach wedding. That's adorable. I don't think she has to go ahead and change anything. I kind of like this, guys. I kind of like this. Hopefully, she and Uko are able to... Um, wait, what? What does that mean? Um, what? Marrying a sim in your employ would be inappropriate. Dismiss them from their role to further pursue your relationship. What does that mean? What does that mean? Guys, is something, is something wrong? Uku? Is it because he has our keys? Uku, we need you to give our keys back. <laughs> Please give our keys back. Oh my goodness, I did not foresee this. Well, we have to get our keys back. I don't know what that's about, guys. We have to get the keys back from Ukupanipo, apparently, before we get married to him or throw the wedding party. So we'll deal with that, and then we'll probably get into the nitty-gritty of things. But, guys, I think it's also actually Shima's birthday. <gasps> it's a birthday. Okay, guys, birthday wedding! Well, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.